welcome. Today I am going to give you another review on a Kayali purchase that I made and this one today is Elixir, excuse me, Elixir number 11. Um, and as I said before in my other video for the Kayali Citrus 8, I really love the packaging that she has. Um, the packaging for this one too is also the hard cardboard stock paper. Uh, it opens up like this and it's got the gold trim on the sides. The bottle that we're reviewing today is the 3.4 uh, fluid ounce bottle. This was actually the last bottle, y'all, for her stuff on her website. So that will tell you just how special this one is. And I did try it out. And today I'm here to give you my honest review about it. Uh, exactly what I feel. Now this one is an Eau de Perfume. And as all of her boxes seem to have on the back are the notes for the perfume. So this one has Red Apple, Rose de My Absolute, Jasmine Sambak Absolu, I hope I'm saying that correctly, vanilla and patchouli. So let's give this a smell. And actually, this one was actually highly recommended um, by one of my other favorite uh, YouTubers, uh, Curly Scents. And they did a review on some of the Kaylee perfumes. And this one, um, her colleague really liked it on it on the channel. So it kind of inspired me to go purchase it. So shout out to Curly Scents. Thank you very much. Um, this one, let me see if I'll spray it on this paper here. No, I have something on that one already. Let's try this one. Let's see how this smells. Okay. Oh, wow. That does smell very nice. And what I'm smelling right from the beginning on that one is a burst of really deep, deep red apple smell, along with the patchouli, actually. So think of apples, vanilla, and patchouli all at once mixed together, hitting you in the face. That's what this smells like. And it smells wonderful. It's not very overpowering, and it actually, this actually is a perfume I could wear by itself. Now I am one for layering. Those who know me know that I love to layer perfumes, but this one I'm thinking you can wear this all by itself. This would be wonderful for the office. Um, not too much though, because it is rather strong. But also specifically if you're going out in the evening, this is more of an evening wear. Because you do have that patchouli in there and patchouli is very strong with that one. Elixir 11 does smell very nice. And it's also one that you can smell right from the bottle. You don't really need to spray it to know that it smells good. Mm -hmm. This is one I would recommend. It's not too strong. Uh, it has a really nice, right from the first shot, um, applying it. You don't feel you're going to need to have it calm down. You know, the perfumes that you sometimes put on that kind of are overpowering. And you say, oh, in a couple of hours, it'll calm down. You don't have to worry about that one. This one for that. This one will smell wonderful right from when you apply it. And ladies, I would recommend maybe two shots. And actually, not only ladies, I believe men can get away with this one too. This one actually has, although it has the apple, the top note of the apple, uh, the patchouli at the bottom and the vanilla at the bottom can definitely make it unisex. So this one does smell good, but I might think, I might lean more towards um, a lady wearing this fragrance. It's very, very nice. Um, very captivating is the word that I would use for it. Um, you'll definitely be remembered when you wear it. And yeah, this doesn't really need to be layered, although I know a lot of her scents uh, suggest layering with others. If I were to layer this one, I would say you can layer this one with a nice, uh, maybe a light citrusy smell because it already has that very strong bottom note of the patchouli, so you don't want to lean to another heavier note with it. So maybe like Citrus 8, her perfume would smell really nice with this, but this would go first and then the Citrus 8 on top. Yep, so this is Kayali Elixir number 11, which means they got to 11 tries before getting this formula the way that they wanted it. I do recommend it. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle and this one costs 
$125 on the website. So again, order from hudabeauty.com because her products are a little hard to find. Um, try it out and leave me your comments below and let me know what you think. Bye-bye.